Hi guys, it's Simlacy here, so welcome to another speed build. So today I am sharing part two of this Magnolia complex that I have built, and this part is going to be all about the furnishing. So if you did miss me building the exterior, I will link it in the description and in the end card so you guys can check it out. This is one of my favorite builds that I have ever done, and a lot of you guys seem to like the first part, so hopefully you guys do like this part too. I'm just really happy with the way this build came together. It has so many different activities, and it was really fun to play test. And like I mentioned in yesterday's video, I think I'm going to leave this as a park because it just functioned so well as a park. And it seems silly, but it works as so many different lot types. As you will see here, I have a bar and a chef station with all of the requirements for a restaurant. So it has the place where uh, the waiter and waitresses would put the dishes away. There's also the hostess station. So there's everything that you need to run it as a restaurant. Also a bar I think functions really well, but the main problem that I had with that is that no kids or teens show up on that lot and I really wanted it to be more of like a kid and teen hangout where they could come and like do homework or like socialize with their friends or I don't know, just play in the arcade or watch a movie or something. I think that's a really cute idea. And it does also function as a retail lot because there are a few different stores in this build. There is a music store, there's a Void Critter store, there is also a bookstore, so there's a few different things, but I don't know, I just really like the way retail lots function in the game, so I just prefer to run it as a few different things. Uh, but right now I am working on the interior of this restaurant. I kind of wanted it to have a little bit of diner vibes, and I love this bar that we got with the bowling stuff pack, and I did not realize that it matched the base game countertops in this one swatch. It matched perfectly, so I was able to make it look like it all was part of one set, so I really liked that. But um, yeah, I wanted it to have kind of this old diner feeling, but kind of like a new diner. But, okay, can you guys hear my dog? She is like panting really loudly like right next to me, so I'm sorry if you guys can hear her breathing so loud. But yeah, I wanted it to have kind of like this old diner feeling, uh, but in today's time, like it's a like a Johnny Rockets or uh, what's another type of place? I'm not sure, but they kind of want you to think it's like an old diner. Like we went to Johnny Rockets like a couple months ago, I think, and they have these really adorable jukebox like right in front of you where you sit and eat. And we wanted to try to play music and the person that worked there was like, oh, we're sorry, those are just for looks. I was like, what? Those are just for looks? We can't actually pick out music? So we thought that was kind of disappointing. So I feel like this would be one of those places where it just wants to appear as this cool retro diner kind of place. But I still really like it. And I also really like those signs that we got I think with Dine Out that have like the vegetables and the meats and the fish, I loved using those as decoration on the walls in here. I thought they were really adorable and I don't think I have used them very many times, maybe a couple of different times, but I was happy to use them in here. And you will notice that I did change the color of these chairs because it was getting a little bit overpowering with the green, but I did like the green because of the outdoor dining set and the awnings that I chose on the exterior. I thought that could be kind of like the color scheme of this business. And so it's kind of like this green and black and brown color that I ended up going with. So I felt like changing the chairs just kind of toned it down just a little bit and made it look uh, a little bit better. But I also really liked these bar stools that came with the bowling stuff pack because it had the green and the black, but I felt like the green wasn't too much. Uh, but over here is going to be where the music store is, and I absolutely love the way this music store turned out. I think it is really cool. I think it looks really realistic, and I'm really happy about that because this is the first ever music store that I have built in The Sims, and I want to build more of them now. I think it came together really nicely. And I mentioned this in yesterday's video, but the signs or the kind of like framed guitars that came with Get Famous that I have on the walls in here. I tried desperately to use those. You will see me mess with them a lot. I don't end up leaving them in here, but I think they would look great in maybe a little bit more of a traditional looking music store. Not exactly sure what that would look like exactly, because I feel like this looks a little bit more modernized. Like my husband plays the guitar and this looks like a lot of music stores that he goes and shops at today. So I feel like it looks a little bit modern. Not exactly sure, but I do hope to use those at some point in the future in another music store because I think they would be perfect. I also don't end up leaving the grand piano because again, it just felt a little bit too traditional and it just took up so much space. So I decided to go with the keyboard and then one of those uh, DJ stations that came with Get Together. I thought that looked really cool in here, but something I did notice is your Sims can't like practice on it in here. So I thought that was a little bit disappointing. They could only hire a DJ. 
I was also going to put this thing that came with Get Famous. It's some sort of music mixing thing. I'm not sure what to call it, but it's that table there to the left of the screen. I thought it looked okay in here, but I felt like the DJ station just looked so cool because I go with the one that's a little bit kind of more grungier looking with like the crates and stuff. I thought it looked so cool. Uh, but here in the back of the store, I fiddled with this area for so long with the counter and the guitars and what I was going to do back here. But what I end up doing is creating a room to the left of the uh, retail counter. And that's going to be another bathroom that you can enter from the store that's in between here and the restaurant. And I actually decorate that part at the very end of the build because I was so indecisive about that area because I had this whole plan when I first started this build that it was going to be like this cool kind of old record store or maybe a comic book store. But after building this music store and then doing the bookstore, I felt like both of those would be a little bit repetitive because you will notice here in the center of this music store, I do this thing with those seats that we got with, I think City Living, they have like, I guess they're books. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be records, but in my eyes, I've always seen them as records. So you will see me pull them out here in just a little while, but I stack them up and put a table over it and put a bunch of like music related books on top of it. And I feel like that looks like it'd be some sort of old kind of record display or something, but we'll see that here in just a moment. But for now, I am just messing with these violins. I had no idea where to put these. I definitely wanted to include them, but I do end up putting them in the center of the build once I create the room and then I move the counter around. It just took me a while, but it was all worth it because I'm so happy with the way the build came together. There's where I finally gave up on those guitars. So sad. Oh, but something I really like about this build is all of these posters that I put on the windows. I felt like it could be maybe people advertising their gigs or kind of maybe asking for like band members or something. I thought that was a really cute idea. And also those skateboards that we got with Parenthood, is that correct? I think so. Um, they have some music notes and stuff on them. So I definitely wanted to use them in this part of the build. I also think I end up using them in both the arcade and the bowling alley. So loved using those as decorations. Uh, but here I'm just messing around with behind the counter. I just felt like this area looked so awkward. So I do mess with it for quite a while, but I definitely wanted to leave it all in so you guys could see my struggles because I just really didn't know. Oh, but here are those things that I was talking about. So they are like seats, but I just raise a couple of them up on top of each other. And I put this table over top of it and it kind of looks like maybe those could be records inside of it. I don't know, maybe they're supposed to be books, but I feel like they kind of look like they could be records. And then now I'm just going through the debug menu to pull out music related books. I think I pulled out a couple that were writing books, but mostly they were piano books or for the guitar or the violin. And then there's also this book that has a microphone on it. So I'm not sure if it is for singing or acting. I'm pretty sure it came with Get Famous, but I thought it looked perfect. So I definitely wanted to use it in here. And I just really like the way this whole display ends up turning out. I think it looks pretty good. And I was also really happy with the way the Sims were interacting with this place because I wanted them to kind of come in here and play around with the guitars. And I even had Sims messing around with the karaoke machine that I leave in here. So it was kind of like they were doing a bit of practicing because I feel like every time I have been into a music store in real life, you always see people kind of like in the back messing around with the guitars or the drums. I want drums so bad in The Sims now. When I was building this, I don't think I've ever really thought about it too much. Maybe a couple of times I've thought about having drums in The Sims, but when I was building this, I thought it would be so cool to have like this giant drum set. You could like see it through the window and The Sims could come in here and practice. I think that would be such a cute idea. Do you guys think we will get drums in The Sims 4? I think that could be a lot of fun. Were there drums in The Sims 3? I am not familiar with The Sims 3 at all. I played The Sims 2, but I don't think I was aware of expansion packs or anything. So I think I only ever played the base game. Can't exactly remember, but I'm pretty sure that's how it went. But I would like to see the drums in The Sims 4. I think that could be a lot of fun. And bikes. I really want bicycles and other like sports and stuff. I'm so excited to see what they're going to be coming out with in the next six months. Because in case you guys did miss it, they announced that they are going to be releasing one game pack, one stuff pack, and then one expansion pack within the next six months. So I think that is really exciting. 
definitely really looking forward to it. Uh, but here I just placed that DJ station that I was talking about and I just thought it looked so good and I made this whole counter here a little bit smaller and I was going to put a chair here because I imagine that's where they would sit and play the guitar but Sims don't do that so I put um, a stereo over here and then I also have the karaoke machine so yeah this is basically it though for this whole music store part of the build and I just really like it so I hope you guys will like the way this turned out too and I also really like this light by the way that's on the wall above the keyboard I don't think I ever used it. I'm pretty sure it came with bowling stuff. I guess I didn't even realize we even had it in the game. I don't know why I've never used it because it looks so good. I think it even sizes down properly too, like the lights and everything on it size down with it. It looks really good. So I used it in here and I'm pretty sure I also used it in the arcade if I remember correctly. I might be mistaken on that because I put a lot of decorations in the arcade, like the walls are full of stuff, but I think that looks really good and it gives it a lot of character. So really happy with the way that turned out, but there is the whole music store done. I also really liked that rug that came with Get Famous. I thought it looked perfect inside there for that kind of style that I was going for. I also have a couple of those little music stands or those street performing stands on the outside so Sims can come and play the guitar. I was able to hire a Sim to come and play the guitar while I was playtesting this lot and it was always, um, what is his name, Bailey, Thorn Bailey, that famous Sim that came with Get Famous of course. He was always there and everybody goes crazy and like passes out, it's ridiculous. Um, but now I am working on the interior of the movie theater. And this took me a really long time to figure out exactly how I wanted to do it. I had to look at so many interior screenshots of movie theaters to get it to look kind of realistic but make it functional in The Sims because of course there's not going to be any vendors giving you your soda or your popcorn before you go into the movies but I think it still looks really good. I was able to include a couple of vending machines. There's also the microwave, the popcorn makers. And I thought these signs could kind of look like the TV screens that display their different deals or the advertisements for their snacks and beverages. So I thought that looked really good. I also put an island here in the center where I put some of the cash registers. I also put some napkins and spoons and forks. It's probably not too realistic to have them right there, but I felt like it kind of cluttered up the counter kind of nicely. So I liked the way that looked. And also these flower decorations I thought looked nice in here too. And then something that I do here in a moment, I really like this idea. Uh, these movie posters that we have, if you take some of these base game frames, they cover them up perfectly. I always try this, well not always, but I try it a lot more ever since I saw my friend Harry do this with one of the large pictures that we got with, I believe vampires, yes, yeah, the really large picture that we got with vampires. And if you take one of the large mirrors and you merge them together, it makes like a framed mirror and it's so beautiful. So I wanted to try that in here because I saw some pictures of some like framed movie posters and it looked so good. And I love the way it comes out in here. I also do it on the exterior at the end of the build. And I just think it looks so, so nice. And there's not any weird clipping or anything. You will notice though at the end when I go to do the outside pictures, I try using a different frame. And it's that jazz picture that has the blue painting. We'll see it at the end, but that one, if you zoomed out too far, you could see the underlying painting. So that looked a little bit weird. But when I switched to the one that I used here on the interior, everything worked fine. So really happy about that. Uh, but in here, this is where you would go and buy your tickets. And originally I had it as this kind of octagon shaped room. And I thought that looked really good, but I had like no space in here which isn't that big of a deal because I didn't plan on any Sims going inside of here, but I wanted it to look like it was set up for somebody to go in here and work and sell you tickets. And we have this table that we got with Get to Work and it looks perfect. I do put a computer on there because the game wouldn't let me put a cash register on there. And so I just put a computer here and I kind of put the bar stool in front of it so Sims can't get to it. Cause I don't know about you guys, but whenever I have community lot computers that I want to look like somewhere where somebody works would sit. I don't want random Sims going there and like using the computer all the time. So I did block it, but if you want your Sims to be able to use it, you'll have to put an actual desk chair there. I'm not sure if they can actually get in that room because like I said, I wasn't really planning on Sims being able to use it. But yeah, I still think you guys could make it work if you wanted to. And then now I'm just working on the bathrooms and I should probably point out that I put some of the hand towels, like the towel dispenser above the toilet. And I was kind of thinking, that we could pretend that those are the like toilet seat covers that you put over the toilet seat in a public restroom. 
that's why I put those there. You can, of course, delete them if you don't want them. And then uh, now moving on into the actual movie theater part of the whole theater. And like I mentioned in yesterday's part, I used these couches instead of chairs because I wanted Sims to be able to kind of snuggle with each other while they watched a movie. I thought that would be really cute. And I also got rid of the movie posters in there because I felt like the curtains would look a little bit more realistic. And I also got rid of the overhead lights and there's only one light in there. And I think when I was play testing it, I turned the light down so it was really dim because I felt like it should pretty much always be really dim in there. And I felt like that would just look the best. And then here, since I copied over the bathrooms, it copied over all of the posters and the lights. So I had to get rid of those. Oh, and I guess now is when I frame up the posters. I thought I did this at the end of the build, but here I'm trying to use these blue ones so you can see when I was kind of away for a second, you could see the poster underneath of it, but switch it to these ones and it works just fine. So really like the way that looks. And then over here, of course, is going to be the bowling alley. And I love the way this room turned out too. Like I mentioned in yesterday's build, I love this brick. I mentioned how I don't think I've really ever used it. Maybe a couple of times, but it's kind of like this really orangey, rustic looking brick. And I'm not sure why exactly I've never really used it too much, but in here I thought it worked really, really well, especially with the yellow walls and this kind of yellowy wood floor. I thought it was so pretty. And I just had a lot of fun doing a whole bowling alley in general. I only ever built one of these and that was right after bowling stuff was released. And I'm going to include that bowling alley in my save. So that build was a long time ago. I think I'll make like a couple of changes to it because yeah, I think, it, I think it needs just a couple of changes, but it will be in my save file. So there will be at least two bowling alleys. I'm not sure if I will include any other ones because I'm not sure where I would exactly, but I don't know for certain yet. And then here along the walls, I do hang up some of these jerseys. And I did this the last time that I built a bowling alley because I felt like they kind of looked like bowling jerseys or like league jerseys. And I thought they looked so good. So I wanted to do that again in here. We did get some other stuff that came with the bowling pack, like some of those kind of neon light strips as like wall decorations, but I decided not to use those in here. So felt like those looked a little bit better. And then I do a few dining tables because of course I have that food stall that's in that weird little room that looks so much better once I go and like cover up the top of it. I also mentioned that in yesterday's video too because I was kind of struggling. Right now I have those white awnings and I thought about leaving that. I was like, that looks okay. But what I ended up doing I think looks a lot better. And then I do a little seating area here and some more tables. And I love these lights that hang from the ceiling that came from bowling stuff. I love the turquoise and the orange. I thought it was so bright and fun. And I definitely wanted to use this rug that came with the bowling stuff pack too. So I just put it here in the entryway. There's no like counter or anything for anybody that works here. I didn't really have the room for it. Normally, I definitely like to include a spot to make it look like somebody works in the place that I'm building. But in here, I didn't really have the room for it. So I didn't worry about it. And then here I am working on the food stall area. And I love the way this turns out, especially when I find something to cover up the top of it. So it looks like it's actually built into the building a little bit more. And the last time I did this in my motel build, I did get a few people saying in the comments that they didn't think it was going to work, but it definitely does work. I play tested it a few different times. My Sim was able to hire a few different vendors, order food without any issues. So you guys shouldn't have any problems using that. And then over here, I was going to leave the clock, but I felt like I felt like the wall just looked a little bit empty leaving that clock there. So I used that kind of retro painting that came with uh, Get Famous. But now we're going to work on the arcade. This is another thing that I have never built before. So I think the arcade and the music store are probably my favorite parts of the build in the movie theater too, because those are three things that I have never done before. They were definitely out of my comfort zone and I had to get a bit creative with designing them. But I just absolutely love the way they turned out. And these arcade machines are humongous. So I was only able to fit two in here. I probably could have squeezed in another one maybe, but I decided not to. I didn't want it to be too crowded, but I was able to fit a couple of foosball tables in here, a couple of dart boards. And then I also have two of these gaming card tables. So the one over here is a kid's card table and the other one is just a regular adult's card table, I guess. I'm not sure if kids can play at it, but either way, there's a bunch of activities in here. And I thought about going with some like colorful wallpaper. I thought that would look really good, but I decided that I wanted to continue with the brick like I have in the rest of the builds. And then here I was trying to create some sort of 
cushion, seat, stool, whatever you want to call it. I think it's a really good idea. I'm not sure if it works, so I'm going to have to try it out in a different build because I didn't quite like the way it looked in here, but I did get the idea from a screenshot that I saw on The Sims 4 Instagram. They had shared a picture that somebody did of one of those dollhouse room builds, and I don't know if the item was custom content or if somebody used move objects to create the stools, but I saw them and I was like, I have to try that in my game, so I'm not sure who that person was at the moment. If I can find that tweet, I will link it in the description so you guys could check it out for yourselves because I think that person is so brilliant. Um, whether it's CC or not, it's really cool looking. I do really like it. Uh, but here I am starting to decorate the walls. So I decided to put these posters up because they look like framed video games that have been signed. So I put them above the arcade machine. So I kind of imagined that they were games that you could play on here maybe perhaps and then I also decorate the ceiling with some of these solar systems I only leave a couple of them and then I also end up hanging some of these saucer lights that we got with Strangerville and I just thought that would look so good and yeah I just kind of go crazy with the wall decorations and just really clutter it up and the build looks okay right now but when it really comes into its own is when I go into game and I actually change the color of it so the color of the lights I mean so you will see in the screenshots that this room kind of has this purple glow to it because I turn all of the lights to have a purple hue to it and I think it looks so good it looks really realistic for an arcade and then over here I put this chalkboard thinking that this was where you know whoever's playing darts is keeping score and then other than that, I do hang up a couple of like the neon signs that we have in game. And I was going to put these on the window because I thought they could look like a logo or something for the arcade, but I just use it as a decoration on the interior. And then I do hang up some black curtains that we got with City Living just to kind of make it look a little bit more complete. And I also mess with this floor a lot because a lot of the screenshots that I saw of arcades had some pretty like crazy looking floors, but we don't really have the right carpet for it in game. We do have a few kind of colorful carpets, but not the right one that I was going for. So decided just to leave it as these black wood floors. And then over here, I was going to put this lamp. I don't think I end up leaving it. I think I put the lava lamp back and then get rid of that light in the corner. But I also size up these dolls and put them in the entryway because I thought they kind of looked like action figures. Uh, but I don't know what happened to them. Somebody pocketed them and took them away with them. So they were gone whenever I was playtesting it. So I didn't replace them because they are toys. So that means somebody in my Sims world has a giant toy doll somewhere. Some kid has this huge doll in their inventory. And I think that is hilarious. Um, but here I'm trying a little bit more with these floors because I was trying to use these rugs, but it didn't quite look right. Uh, but I did try to block these dolls with these lights. So I use a different one and I kind of size them down so they don't look so large and in the way but I thought that maybe they would block the dolls so nobody would move them but yeah it did not work out that way so in the screenshots you will see that there's just the lights there and then here I'm just hanging up some of those saucers that we got with Get Famous and I think that looks really cool I think it gives the build a lot of character and then here for a moment I thought about hanging some toys from the ceiling or make it look like they were hanging above the windows as like prizes but then I was like no that's it's going a little bit too overboard so I decided just to leave it at that and then yeah that's it for the arcade and I absolutely love the way it came together and then here is adding some of these benches on the exterior I thought they looked pretty good with the different advertisements on the backs of them I thought they were pretty appropriate for this build and then here is going to be where the bookstore is and it's very very small as you can see it's only like three tiles wide and I'm not really sure how long it is but yeah it's very small but your sims can get in here and read books if they want to or if you want to set it as a retail lot they can come in here and buy books also because I put these display shelves and I go into the debug menu and pull out a bunch of books and I think it looks really good I also put this bench seat in front of the window because I thought it'd be nice if the you know if the sims came in here and just sat and read for a little bit I felt like that would be kind of relaxing and I also put a cash register over here and I was trying to put it on this table but it didn't quite work out as you can see but the biggest struggle that I had with decorating the inside of this bookstore was finding artwork because a lot of the artwork that we have in game that has books or any sort of like reading related thing on it looks like they're just posters and they look like they would go in a kid's room or maybe a library but not really like a bookstore at least for the style that I was going for but what I end up doing is hanging up a movie poster and so I was kind of thinking that maybe I don't know the movie poster kind of looked like a cover to a book to me rather than a movie poster so that's why I ended up putting it in here and then I also end up using one of those inspirational posters that we have framed that came with 
one of the latest updates. I forget exactly which update or when it came out, but you will see me decorate with that in just a moment. And then I felt like cluttering up the top of these shelves with a few books and decorations, so I do that. And you will notice that the bench seats that I use in here are the same ones that I used in the music store. So in here, we're going to pretend that it's full of books and in the music store, it's full of records. <laughs> and I think that's kind of fun. Uh, but yeah, it's just a very simple little bookstore, but I really like it. Um, but now I am going through to try to find some artwork to put on the walls and I don't know, we have these posters that came with Strangerville and they're perfect for a library or a bookstore because the graphics on them are definitely really nice, but since they're not framed, they just looked a little bit awkward to me. So I thought about putting them here on the front windows, but even then that didn't really have the look that I was going for necessarily. But then I realized that we got this image, this one right here that came with cats and dogs, I'm pretty sure, but this was perfect. This was exactly what I was looking for for the front of this store, so I really liked that. And I was not exactly sure what to do with this porch that I created because originally I had imagined to put a couple of tables out here so your Sims could sit and like have coffee, even though it's not a coffee shop, but you know, they could sit out here and have like a drink or some soda or something and read a book or just visit with their friends or sit and do homework. And then I thought about getting rid of it, but I did like the way it looked. So I just decided to put a chess table out here because I felt like that would be the best use of the space. So that's what I ended up doing. Uh, but here's the poster that I chose. I felt like it kind of looked like a book cover a little bit. And then I put another bookcase over there just to fill in that corner. And then I put a few decorations up on top of these displays. And we have this one Sims or My Sims doll statue that's like a librarian. So I definitely wanted to put that up here. And then I just put a few other things and I think it just looks really good. Very small, but it is a nice little bookstore, I think. And then over here is going to be the last store that I decorate. And even at this point, I really wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. I had a bunch of different ideas in mind. I was like, maybe an electronics store, maybe like a toy store. But I did find this poster of the Void Critters and I was like, this could definitely be a place where your child Sims could come and like look at all the Void Critter stuff and come shopping. So I put some of these decals on the windows and then I do put a couple of video game consoles on the interior, so it's kind of like a gaming store a little bit, but it's definitely more of a Void Critter store, and I use a lot of fun colors and decorations on the walls and just tried to make it look as like kid-friendly and playful as I could. But over here is going to be that other bathroom that I was talking about, so I think that's a total of five bathrooms if you include each of the stalls in the movie theater being their own bathroom. But I think that is plenty. It seemed to be plenty when I was playtesting this build, so you guys shouldn't have any issues. And then I also put this Void Critter poster up on the wall in here. I thought that was a perfect little decoration to put inside the bathroom. And so in here, I also include some of those prizes that I think you get from the little Christmas crackers. Um, I put that in the displays in the windows. Of course, I use a bunch of these Void Critter things. And then I also use a lot of my Sims dolls in here. And I honestly didn't even realize that that poster on the back wall had some my sims dolls on it i didn't even notice it until i think i was taking the screenshots and one of the my sims dolls that i put on the back counter that i create um, is the same one that you see in the poster too so i thought that was kind of funny and i tried really hard to use these in the build but they just looked a little bit weird they're so large and i didn't really have anywhere to put them because it is such a small store but here I am decorating this window display. I love the way this looks. And these are those things that I was talking about. So I'm pretty sure you get them with, I think they're called holiday crackers, if I remember correctly, but you like crack them open and you get these as prizes. So I put them over here with the My Sims dolls and a few of those uh, Void Critter things. I also raise up some stuffed animals and put them on the display too. And I just think it looks so playful and so colorful and fun. I also put another display on one of the walls in here and you will notice in the screenshots that there's a few different decorations because I did place a few toys on there and I also placed a couple of toys on the counters and of course the Sims children came in and played with them so I just deleted them and switched them out for a few different objects that they won't play with so not that big of a difference but there will be a few different things in here. Um, but yeah, I was trying really hard to use this Void Critter thing, so I tried putting it here on the back counter, tried putting it next to here, but I do end up getting rid of it. I also have some video game consoles here in the back, and then I also used this basketball flooring, and I never use this on interiors of builds ever, I don't think. Maybe I have used it one time, but it's just so shiny that I never use it, but I thought inside here it worked perfectly. And then over here is where I put this display, so I put a couple more of the My Sims dolls, a few different like statues 
trees and decorations, but I do put a few toys up there that I do get rid of, so yeah, not that big of a difference, but I think it looks so cute. I just love the way this little store turned out. It's also something that I've never really done before. I mean, I've built stores before, but I haven't really done a store that looks quite like this. So I am happy with the way it came together and really happy with the way this whole build came together too. So hopefully you guys have liked this part as much as you guys liked seeing the exterior of the build. But I just love this build so much. I'm really excited to continue on with the rest of Magnolia Promenade. And if you guys have any ideas for what you guys would like to see in this neighborhood, please let me know. But we are coming to the screenshot, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And please leave any comments or suggestions that you have. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye! They were in high school when they met And things got kinda awkward With sparks in the air He would stare at her in class And she would try to act cool But it was obvious like ooh They would be together One day she said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper started writing probably something about her eyes and how they're always shining or something cliche like ooh baby I only want you it's true and then he said I wrote you a love song and I tried to make it Beautiful. It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away Yeah, I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang, she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand He held her close under the moon they kept on dancing mm -mm -mm. And now they're singing their love song And they sing it kind of beautiful Calling each other sweetheart I promise nobody can get in their way Or steal the show